From the DC Universe confirming and then axing the long-awaited Constantine sequel to finally bringing it back once again, these are all the positive updates you need to know about the sequel following the major DCU shakeup. What about her? Now, after all the recent drama in the DC Universe, fans have been blessed with some very good news regarding the one and only Keanu Reeves and his highly anticipated Constantine sequel. It was revealed just last year that Francis Lawrence, aka the director of the 2005 cult classic film based on the Hellblaze and the actor behind the famous and beloved character John Wick, would collaborate once again. But all that excitement turned into disappointment not long after its announcement. Const Constantine 2 joined the long list of DC projects that were put on hold. This all occurred as a result of a major reorganization at Warner Brothers. Anyone remember the drama surrounding the hiring and firing situation? To sum it up, Warner Brothers merged with Discovery and CEO David Zaslav was attempting to completely revive the DC universe. So he brought in James Gunn and Peter Safran to run DC Studios, two superhero geniuses. The pair cleared the decks for future DC projects by dumping well known ones, ones that fans were dying to see. Think Wonder Woman the sequel, Black Adam and Henry Cavill's Superman. These were all slated to be put on hold or potentially axed for good, along with the Constantine sequel. Now, of course, when this update was released, many fans were enraged. Heard of. And now I'm gonna be done by this. How could they just announce it and take away what fans had been waiting 17 years for? A very cruel twist of fate if you ask us. True. You're not. Gunn then announced a multi-platform slate of movies and TV shows that will essentially reboot the DCU over the next several years. But sadly, the Constantine sequel was nowhere to be found. However, in a confusing yet positive turn of events, it has since been officially confirmed that Constantine 2 has not been scrapped despite the fears from fans. What a roller coaster ride! How is this possible? And now, 17 years after the release of the first film, fans will finally be reunited with John Constantine, in film form at least. John Constantine was one of DC's lesser known heroes upon his debut almost two decades ago, but he also had the longest running Vertigo comic series at the time, compared to another 2005 comic book movie, Batman Begins, which had a $150 million budget. Constantine brought in over $230 million worldwide on a low 85 $5 million budget. So to say it was well received is an understatement. Fans have been calling for a sequel for a very long time. The blockbuster has earned a sizable and loyal following in the years since it hit the big screen. Even though other versions of Constantine have become prominent in pop culture, such as the TV adaptation starring Matt Ryan, many continue to associate the role with Keanu Reeves. But how exactly did the sequel go from on to off to on again? Well, apparently it wasn't just something that happened. In fact, Reeves spent years and years trying to get the film greenlit, and it appears that he managed to get the job done this past fall. In a recent interview, the much-loved actor was asked if he has unfinished business with the role of John Constantine. That, he explained, is probably not the best way to put it. His push to get Constantine 2 into development was more about his appreciation for the character. Reeves explained, I don't know if it was unfinished business, but it was definitely a role that I loved. And I thought that Francis Lawrence the director did such amazing work. I loved playing that character. I just love that world too, and I love that character. I just had a blast playing that, that character and, and in that world. Fans loved watching him play the role, which is another key reason why Gunn and Safran brought it back. That and Warner Brothers apparently greenlit the project out of desperation. But what does that mean? Well, one insider explained that was a movie they greenlit in desperation because they weren't sure of the direction of DC and needed to have something post-2023. Now, whether they brought the sequel back out of desperation or because they recognized its power and influence, along with the viewership it will rack in, fans are just happy to have it back on the slate. But 
when will it be released? Well, that's an entirely different story. Speaking of fans, what kind of reactions did they have when they learned Keanu Reeves would be returning as the legendary John Constantine? Well, although the general response from DCEU fans is positive, many of them were also hoping for a John Constantine adaptation that would be faithful to the comics, much like Matt Ryan's adaptations in the CW's TV version. But in saying that, fans also believe Reeves Constantine may open the door for a Justice League dark movie. How epic would that be? But what exactly did fans have to say about it on social media? Well, on Twitter, one user wrote, Constantine 2 should honestly plant the seeds for Justice League Dark. Keanu's name is the hottest it's been since the original Matrix, and you could easily build this team up Avengers style. While another simply stated, this is huge. Common sense finally at WBD. And we couldn't agree more. I mean, 17 years? What were they waiting for? While many echoed the same excitement and enthusiasm. Some had a different take. One user in particular tweeted this, Where were all you Constantine loving mother effers when the movie came out? And everybody thought those of us who enjoyed it were insane and stupid. While another user shared similar thoughts. For those of us who have defended Constantine for years and defended Keanu Reeves' work in it can finally celebrate that a sequel is happening. Highlighting the fact that back in 2005, not everyone praised the now legendary actor for his early 2000s superhero role. And while most were excited for Reeves' return, others were hoping Matt Ryan would return as John Constantine. One social media user wrote, Okay, listen, I'm all in for different adaptations, but the fact that we're going to be having two live-action Constantines, and he isn't one of them, is a bit frustrating. Speaking about Matt Ryan, many seem to agree with this Twitter user. Even though Reeves was the first actor to portray the iconic DC Exorcist in a movie adaptation, a lot of people think that the 2014 TV series series simply did it better, especially when it came to the casting. The 2014 TV series starring the actor Matt Ryan is still appreciated by fans to this day, mostly due to its comic accuracy. All these on prize, mate. Unlike Reeves' character, Ryan's Constantine is as similar to the comic as he could possibly be. A blonde British guy rocking an iconic beige trench coat. Reeves' exorcist, who appeared on screens in 2005, was not as comic accurate, with the movie coming up with its own story rather than following the DC comics. Fans were unable to wrap their minds around the TV series' death. They're calling on another chance for Matt Ryan as Constantine. Stay back! My name is John Constantine. You're pointing that the wrong way. According to many, Ryan was the perfect casting, while Reeves just fails to embody the spirit of the actual character from the OG comics. But despite the mixed fan reactions, there is no doubt in our minds that the sequel will be everything we have hoped for and more. So from the DC world scrapping the highly anticipated Constantine sequel to bringing it back out of sheer desperation and pressure from fans, this was everything you needed to know about Keanu Reeves' positive Constantine 2 update.